I want to go back last weekend real quick. Yeah. Uh, given what how the game played out, would you do done things differently in that first half? You know, it's. Uh, I mean, obviously yes, because because things didn't work. You know, as as we were uh, hoping or, or thought they would. Um, you know, it's it's it was easy to point, and it's easy to point. Well, hey, you know, we couldn't run the football. You know, uh, we actually were through it more in the you know the second quarter than we ran it, and and we're just a shade over 50-50 in the first quarter. Um, you know, and and really couldn't get anything going. You know, and so it wasn't. It's easy to point at the run game, but there were some things. Obviously, we uh, had some chances and, and got to connect on a few things in the passing game to help get those wheels turning a little bit. So, um, I mean, yeah, obviously, it, it didn't go as planned. But one of those things that did go right was Keegan Johnson finally was a part of the game. How important was it? Uh, I was really proud of him, you know, and, and obviously, <clears throat> you know, in an environment like that and, and, and against a defense like, like they were, being able to. Uh, do what you know we, we knew we could do and and uh, uh, you know and even bounce back through adversity you know obviously uh, you know the one play goes awry and, and being able to get right back in there and uh, grind it out and, and come up with some huge plays for us so extremely proud of him and and uh, you know know there's a lot more uh, in the future you know uh, from him so you feel a lot more positive aspects about the passing schemes and your ability to protect after last Saturday uh, I think we, we've gotten better. I think we've made some progress the last few weeks. Um, you know, got to continue to do so. And uh, but no, I, I thought uh, Will did. Will really got in a nice rhythm there in the second half, and uh, guys were making some plays and, and a couple really good uh, efforts after the catch. I know Phillips touchdown catch in particular. I mean, being able to you know take a 15 yard throw and, and turn it into an extended touchdown, making a couple guys miss, stay in bounds was was a huge play. Standpoint, do you feel good about how this team has recovered from that kind of a loss? No, I, I, absolutely. I mean, our guys. I mean, you don't get down and and, and fight back in, in that ball game if you don't have a lot of uh, you know a lot of guts and, and a lot of mental fortitude. So uh, obviously, that's what it's going to take you know for us uh, you know in this situation. But uh, no, they'll do that for sure. What do you see from this Baylor defense? Um, you know, they, good length, you know, is, uh, uh, is typical. Um, you know, uh, I, I think they'll, you know, they'll mix up some, uh, some man and, and some bracket coverage type looks that, uh, you know, change some, some fits around in, in different things. So uh, you're going to have to stay sharp on some things, going to have to make some plays, you know, versus some man coverage situations and, uh, you know, kind of get back into a groove of, uh, you know, what we do in our identity, being able to run the football and, and have good balance. Fourth down over time, both Coach Kleiman and Will said they loved the look you got on the play. Obviously, it didn't work out the way you wanted, but what, what did you, when you saw it, like about the defensive look there? Yeah, no, it was, uh, you know, it, it had some, uh, you know, because the question is, are, you know, are they going to zero pressure you and, and come after you? Or are they going to sit back in zone? And so you got to have something for both. And, uh, you know, had it uh, that exchange play there into into the boundary with uh, Ben and, and Keegan, and, and ended up going zone. And uh, you know, you're trying to high low that corner in, in red two, and if he gives enough depth, you got the tight end. And if he comes down, you're hoping to to win and, and throw the corner. And uh, obviously, didn't you know uh, didn't didn't come to pass. But uh, you know, it had options. We had good players out there, and and uh, just came up short, unfortunately. What's that? Will Howard. Last, you mean like the last couple games? Right, right, right. Oh no, I mean, shoot, I mean, there's uh, so many good things you could, you, you know, you can say about Will, and, and just so proud of, uh, you know, how he's uh, continued to, to battle and improve, and, and he's playing at an extremely high level right now, and uh, uh, really excited and, and uh, to watch him and, and our offense be able to distribute the ball like he has. It hasn't necessarily been a conventional year in terms of the quarterback player or. With bouncing back between the two, do you feel still good about how the team has managed that? Yeah, no, I do. I, I think uh, obviously the uh, I know our guys uh, believe in both of them. I know both of them have made uh, some big plays and, and big contributions at uh, you know at, at different times. And uh, you know, shoot, I, everyone knows and that, that Will's our our leader and, and does a tremendous job spearheading things. 
um, you know, and, and Avery's done a great job of, of stepping up and being ready and, and making plays when, uh, when he's had the opportunity to do so. So uh, uh, really happy with both of them. Mills, two touchdown passes away from the school record tying it. Is he underappreciated for his accomplishments? Uh, you know, I, I think it's uh, you, you always appreciate the appreciation, you know. But if at the end of the day, it's it's you do it because you love it. You do it because uh, God's giving you the ability and the opportunity, and, and I know that's why He does it, you know. And and so I think that kind of rides out some of the uh, the highs and or lows that that you know he's experienced during his career and and have kept him very consistent um you know through that so um I, i'm super proud of him and it doesn't surprise me a bit that, that he's had that kind of uh, that kind of production you feel about the level of readiness for the backup across the offensive line backups that is um you know i i think we've uh i think we've gotten better uh no doubt uh you know you look at uh, just the, the strides that, uh, you know, Carver's been able to make this year, um, being able to see uh, TP put together, uh, you know, a, a close to a full season, I guess. We're not there yet, but being able to see him out there, uh, you know, consistently and, and, and put in that work. And, uh, you know, those guys are competing every day, and uh, Coach Riley does a great job of challenging and, and developing those guys uh, in practice uh, and, in, and through the games. So uh, I'm excited about some of the young guys we have behind, uh, you know, the experienced guys we have out there. You look at the passing stats last week, purely in terms of the wide receivers catching the ball, I think it was the most yardage you guys put up since week one. Is there anything about that group that's just kind of coming together right now? Um, yeah, I, I think it's, uh, uh, again, it's it's a combination of, uh, of everyone. Uh, when things go well, just, just like it, you know, when, when you struggle and it's, uh, I thought, I think it was mentioned earlier, I thought it started up front. I, mean, I thought our guys held up really, really, really nicely in, in some of that uh, passing game down the stretch and, and uh, uh, gave guys a chance to make plays. I thought Will did a nice job of having a couple plays of being able to extend them, you know, and make some plays off schedule that were, that were huge for us. And, and uh, you know, those guys uh, finding space in the back end, getting open, and then uh, doing something when they caught it, I thought was, uh, I mean, we've made progress in, in every one of those areas. and. Uh, you know, we've got to keep going because I know there's more in us too, which is, uh, you know, which is the good part. It's a, a game in which your running backs have to be good. Uh, I mean, uh, yes, but you know, I, I think it's, again, it, it, it's not just one person, one position group. I mean, it, it, it takes all, all of us, you know, and, and we all got to be, uh, be clicking and, and, and working in sync to, uh, to have those games that, that you feel are. Uh, uh, you know, maximizing what we're capable of. So uh, I'm excited. I mean, th those guys have done a great job and, and do a great job. They practice extremely hard, um, you know, and it, it, I'm excited to see it show up. Yeah, Ben and Coop were both, uh, both accepted and mm -hmm. invited for the Senior Bowl. What can you say about their contributions? Uh, I mean, appreciate both of those guys so much. I mean, as, as good of players as they both are, uh, have been tremendous uh, leaders and uh, just a, a presence in our locker room, you know, in, uh, during their time. And, uh, and they're, they're just so fun to, uh, to be around and, and to work with and uh, on top of obviously being uh, extremely talented and, and good at what they do. So uh, excited to see those guys play for, for a long time. <laughs>